Yeah, I guess so. It smells this is a reaction. interesting. So it's peanut Do butter this? and jelly <sighs> in a drink. We're paused, right? Are you paused? No. No. Oh, that. You I just was. told the world your secrets about the. <laughs> how do you feel, Daniel? Uh, okay. Super good. All right, this is a reaction. Looney's react to peanut butter and jelly All shot. Right. All okay, right. you guys ready? Yeah, let's go ahead. Here, we can spread out a little bit because Thomas is gone. All right, are you sure? Is he gone? Gone? I don't know. Yeah, right, he's, whatever. He's on the phone. Right he's on the phone. Phone. Don gone. Okay. Right, everybody ready? God. All right, ready? Down the hatch. Cheers. Down the hatch. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. That's not bad, Kyle. That's crazy. That's really sweet. It's really sweet. I wouldn't have another one, but that does yeah. taste like peanut butter and jelly. You're spot on. Not a huge fan. Not a fan. It's not terrible, but... It's kind of got some, like... That face said terrible. I wouldn't take multiple shots of it, but Ooh, experimental shot. Oh, yes. literally what everyone else said? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kyle. <laughs> Here, I'll again. If you ever want to know what Ryan's going to say, just remember what everyone else said first. Oh. And then regurgitate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was the first time I've heard Kyle refer to us as the loonies in like two years. I felt like he abandoned that identity. Well, because it's silly sometimes. Well, you say it enough for everybody that's to true. say it five times. That is times, true. So. <laughs> that's, that's where I was at with that. Okay. <clears throat> I wish Thomas was here. Thomas is such a good personality. Mm. I'll just kill myself. <laughs> Thomas, such a good person. What an he's interesting a, thing. He's to a say. big uh, piece of the puzzle. That's for sure. Oh yeah, puzzle yeah. piece. Not the be did you like? Did you like? That's pretty much what you said. It's just a little different. A little different. Just a little different. All right, Ryan. A little touch. A little All spin. Right. A little different. A little Ryan. Ryan guy spin. A little up Ryan esque. Yeah. Someone at my work was telling me that they found a coyote in Carry Town. Yeah, they did. I just heard about that. Like Ooh. dead or alive? Alive. Oh, very much alive. It's not very, that surprising. Very much alive. I've seen coyotes not like in Chesterfield. We call them coyotes back in Chesterfield. Yeah, oh yeah. There's more woods near there. Are yeah. they dangerous to like dogs and toddlers yeah. oh, and shit? They'll, they'll eat cats. Yeah. Really? Dude, perfect time with the music. <laughs> Holy shit! They'll eat cats. They'll eat dead. <laughs> they'll for sure eat cats and small dogs. What about mm -hmm. your cats? Like, Fuck them too. When I was in San Diego, there would be coyotes everywhere in the, in the desert and shit. <laughs> And Get it they, right. they would always warn our neighborhood, hey, make sure all your cats and small dogs are inside because there's been a fucking couple of coyotes in the neighborhood. Yeah. Because they'll legit snatch them up. Well, I can and imagine. Are you, you're not allowed to shoot them, right? With like mm -hmm. a BB gun? They're all over California, right? Yeah, yeah. Like at night, you could hear them howling. <laughs> are they protected? <laughs> I mean, like most of You can't tell if it's a local Indian yeah. tribe. I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> when, when I thought I, we were at Lemon there for a second. When I was doing, uh, I was doing like training uh, Nightland Nav. And I'm in Camp Pendleton, and we'd be out like in the mountains and stuff in the middle of the night, and there were so many coyotes out there. We'd like see them walking around. We'd see their eyes. We'd see them like howling and everything. <laughs> yeah, they were all they were all Wait, over the joke, place. But some, some, some... Whoa! <laughs> what a stroke uh, there, man. Embarrassing, D. Anyway, sometimes they sound like humans. I yeah, know. I'm not joking. Coyotes. I know they sound they like that. Like... <laughs> I know. They sound like the local <laughs> yeah. natives. Yeah. Yeah, the very prevalent. Wait, is that natives. why Native Americans make that sound? Because of course, because the coyotes, the probably, coyotes and they like worship the coyote. Yeah, yeah. Dude, have you heard that? Maybe Indian, we shouldn't say the Comanche scream. That. What? The Indian Comanche it's scream. Native American. Dude, if can you look that up? It's we so have to hear that. Look, look up Comanche scream. Hunter, are you allowed to shoot them though? If they're Native, say, Native most American. Most things in California. Yes. yes. Most things called? in California it's are manifest protected. Destiny. What is yeah. it called? A, a Comanche, like with a, a coyote. coyote, with a K. Yeah, or thing. No. C O M A N C H E. Jesus Christ. Command. No, no, no. C O C O. It's no, no, a C. No, no. One more back. One more. Are Not you trying to spell the yeah. tribe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a C. Yeah. Comanche. Yeah, it's a C. We said it. Jesus Christ. Comanche. What? So K O M. <laughs> and he spells kimchi like fucking pickled, but. <laughs> Why? It's all the rebel yell. Tribe. Huh? Comanche <laughs> Indian. Oh my god. And then, and then yell. Meow. Meow. Meow meow meow. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna be really disappointed, Hunter, if it's not a Maybe good battle cry. Know. Comanche. You have to log in. Uh, it's age restricted. I I heard it on Joe Rogan. He has like a thing. 
that they like mimics the. I don't know. It sounds fucking crazy. Though. Oh, dude, that they have this Indian in the corner of the room. Yeah, that yeah. They, they lock call, there. They call him over whenever <laughs> they need him. <laughs> that reminds me. How many people here have seen Bone Tomahawk? I love oh that fuck! Again. You know how they have the thing in their throat yeah. that like makes the sound. Dude, they like, so can't awesome. even talk. It's like the craziest scream in like that's what they would scream when they were coming in to like kill you and shit, dude. Yeah. I can only imagine how terrifying that would be if someone. I know. Wait, yeah, you can only imagine. Awesome. But you... Kurt Russell, man, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such that... a good movie. I can't believe he like came out with that. It's like, what are you doing? I love it, but it's like Kurt. That's crazy. What is it? I haven't seen Bone it. It's, it's like a really intense western, and it's like it's like. So it's, it's a really Western graphic. horror movie. Yeah. Or, yeah. It's just, like, really graphic. I wish they would make one a modern... Day. Like, you remember at the at the beginning <clears throat> of um, The Revenant, where they fucking destroy the camp, the Indians? Yeah. Like, I want to I want to see a movie like that, that like, the whole movie. Uh-huh. I would be really interested, like, a yes. modern day... So in this effect. movie, it's like the natives are just, like, savage. Like, not in, like, oh, Native American savage. Like, they're just really fucking intense. And they, like, <laughs> the things that they do to people... What is happening? Stop. It's going to do with Daniel's cord. It's Daniel's. My cord. For some reason, your cord. You're twisting it move around. It, move it over here. It wasn't my mic. Well, it's not that. It's the mic. Well, now I can he- talk. It's not even on. It's still. Oh, I don't think it's plugged in all the way, maybe. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's dead. How's that? Now try that. There you go. Ripperonis. No, it's not It's not that. It's not my mic. Mm. Try it now. Uh-huh. No, we can't hear it. Well, did you unplug it and plug it back in? Oh, there you go. Jesus. Oh, wait, That's are we back? Talk. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Talk? Hello, hello, hello. That's weird. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, I won't move it anymore. Yeah. We were How? talking about some sadness, so, bro. Bone Tomahawk, the movie. You've seen Bone Tomahawk, right? No, never heard of it. It's Kurt Russell. I love me some Kurt Russell. Love me some, well, especially uh, the Christmas Diaries. Everyone's favorite Kurt Russell original. I was thinking Sky High, actually. Got, well, same difference. Sky High. The, the Christmas Chronicles is just like the worst fucking Christmas movie of all time. The guy who it. plays the main character in Sky High, that's not Drake, right? From Drake and Josh? No, I don't think he's famous. It's actually Drake. I no. think he's like a Disney Channel actor. The rapper. No, he's not even a Disney Channel actor. You know who I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. Oh. He's just like a an actor. I don't really know. I don't think he's in anything Disney. He's somewhat famous. Michael and Garno. Some Italian fucking shit. I have something I want to talk about. Hmm. I recently... I know you're going to kill me because you wanted to watch it with me. I recently just saw American Psycho. Yeah. Nice. And that was fucking uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understand and you I appreciate it. You the wrong people, 100%. Yeah. I know, but no one was talking. Hey, like, by I the way, watching. how is... I know. No, you're supposed to talk. So you can laugh. feel the energy. You watched it with the wrong group. I mean... Okay, I know, but like... Like, Daniel, come on. No, like, we were all into it watching Who'd you it, watch like, it with? You watched it with, with... Kate... And and oh, uh, Daniel no. Lingeski and Madeline. What? But I mean, oh, no. everyone was watching intently, not like doing anything. Large. No, it's supposed it's to. Just it's not, it's not supposed taste. to be that serious. Yeah, it's a funny movie. It's just not. It's a, it's a comedy. No, I mean we we laughed at things and I made fun of things, but like the whole thing, like I can understand the art of it, but like I I just don't think like, that's the right group to watch it with. Like I don't think Daniel really. But I don't get influenced by people's energy. Are you done moving, think. Thomas? I mean, what? you can say that, but no. I feel like it definitely affects it. Definitely Maybe not. not. I mean, I don't know. Not. I just know it does for me. I just, I'll watch a movie, a and then I'll watch it with someone else, and it's, like, totally different. Like, uh, I don't like this movie anymore. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, well, I'm, yeah, and I also saw that movie Fargo, and that movie's fucking weird as uh, shit, too. I like Fargo. Fargo's so good. <laughs> I didn't like that movie. That's, That's weird. weird. That we were just talking about Fargo today. Yeah, we were. Well, we just, no, we talked about it this morning. I chose in. Not my cup of tea, I guess. I can appreciate it, but you have to watch it a second time. Like it gets better. Yeah, that's not true. So you don't like good movies? It's fine. <laughs> it's I like okay. good movies. Okay. Well, like what good did movies. you like about you don't American like Psycho? Very good movies, so you know, fine. Dude, I would love to do a skit God, where Ryan. I would like. I would love <laughs> no, to do. Right, give him like. I said, what do you what do you like most about American Psycho? And he went. <laughs> and he fucking gra- <laughs> <laughs> he grabs the mic. <laughs> no, what's What's the difference between that and me having my own mic and interrupting him anyway? The uh, fact that he was about to. <laughs> I, I, not. I mean, I did like the whole thing where like, you you start to understand that he's actually kind of like making things up in his head, and he's like fucking just going crazy himself. Like, I like that aspect of it. 
You might as well just say you, you love coming to America too. <laughs> Your cat's playing Oh, with I thought that was driver. you, Thomas, the whole time. Okay. Oh, wow. I thought you were just but fucking around. One movie I cat. really did like was Taxi Driver. I fucking love that movie. You like Taxi Driver? With Queen not... Latifah? Okay. <laughs> no, fucking, with fucking. No, I, I love Taxi Driver. It's like one of my that favorite movies yeah. of all what time. Is that movie? I love it. It's that just movie. crazy that you Last don't like Holiday American or something? Psycho and no. Fargo. Like, it's it's definitely seem kind but of something similar. about Robert De Niro's energy is different than fucking Christian Bale. Hey, Christian Bale. Look, I don't know. Yeah. I would call Christian Bale more charismatic personally than Robert De Niro in that movie. Yeah, and that definitely. Movie, he's a fucking creep. Yeah. What do you? Yeah, of course. What? There's no challenge. Okay, that. and it's also, not likable as one thing. Like he's not supposed to be. Something about the way that it was directed or shot. Yeah, I mean, American Psycho. Like, oh, I didn't. Well, you're like talking about Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. It's a little. Yeah. The directing I, no, is a little yeah, like amateurish. He did. Yeah, like driver. it just. It feels fake. Is what I'm getting at. Like yeah. all the sh- the scenarios feel. Saying he's comparing the, the shot. Like of, Taxi Driver a movie feels by magical. No one. Yeah, and a Taxi movie by Driver Martin Scorsese. was directed by feels one, fake, one of the all-time greatest directors of all time. And, and that's a redundant thing that I just said. Wait, who all time? Daniel being redundant. The all time, one of the greatest Come directors on. of all time. Who directed Taxi Driver? Scorsese. Okay. Who's that? <laughs> Wait, who directed? I, th- I thought he directed American Psycho too. He just no. threw a beer into the trash can. And that's just Hey, it's recycling it, needs. Right. Wait, who directed? American I have no Psycho? idea. Oh, okay. Uh, it was a woman. Uh, I don't know. Already. Well, there's your answer <laughs> now. <laughs> But no, so we it's, it's International about, Women's Month. Uh, Mary, the thing about American name Psycho, Mary something. Hunter, Mary the thing I love about that movie so much is how ludicrous everything is. It's so over the top, and yeah, yeah and that's the is. point. It's a commentary on that. Dude, period. when he drops the chainsaw on oh, her so from the stairs, yeah, I know. You didn't love that. You didn't love the fact that he's no, running naked you with these you white hear my honest shoes opinion? on. Yeah. This is this is like you probably would hate watching a movie with me. I watched it. I'm like. How the fuck would that even happen? Like, there's no way, like that's so stupid. Like, how it's the like, fuck could you hit someone? Like, it's like his psychotic stupid. fantasy. Yeah. yeah I mean, okay, I guess I understand that, but it's you like, didn't like the part where she uncovers the sheet and he's like, <laughs> he's I like mean, biting her. Obviously, the best part is when he's fucking the two whores. Look at himself in the mirror. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I did like that part. Watch out what you put on the table. He sits it's really he, fucking loud. He sits down on the table and he's like, eat her ass. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you can help it, put it right there. It's like, don't just stare at it. Eat, eat it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Not a very uh, impressive work of, uh, you know. Uh, what were um, the other reactions? Yeah, who's, the, who's the director? Everyone was like, oh, it's Mary good. Mary Hannon or Mary no. Hannon. I knew it was Mary. It was Hannon. like a lot of, no. I mean. Because I can okay. imagine with those people, it's just awkward. Yeah. It, it wasn't awkward. I mean. Okay. Okay. This is the energy from the, from the room. I'll be honest. People were probably mostly confused. Yeah. Like not confused, but like you know, like what even is this? Like, yeah. like that, that kind of thing. That, that, that like, always I wouldn't uh, share a movie. Experience. Well, they they weren't even they, I they just fell asleep. Uh, they weren't even watching. What? Yeah. I just, right, that's Hunter, contagious. So it was that energy the, is contagious. I know you don't think it is, but it's so it is. One hundred percent agree. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I watched a movie. That movie, Twenty uh, First Century Women or something. I like was watching. And Tom walked in. It's like I'm enjoying the movie, and Tom walks in and just is railing it. And we're just not saying anything. He's yeah. like instantly. I'm like, yeah, this movie's dumb. So, but then it's like I watch it again. It's like, oh, this is a good movie. It's just like <clears throat> you have to watch it with the right person. That's so when, funny. So when I that first example is so funny. That's like that's the yeah. best example I can think of because you yes. did. I was watching you watch it. Steve and I. Steve and I have been watching <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, and when I first watched Battlestar Galactica. Go, with like, your clothes off? With my clothes off when I was a kid. I loved it. I thought it was... I honestly... Battlestar Galactica, I consider it my favorite TV show of like all time. Super cool sci-fi show. Battle Watching Star. it now with Steve in a more of like commentary context where we talk, where we watch it. I'm like, this show is so comedic. It's hilarious. So you got to come when they blow up the Battlestar. That's the best <laughs> time. That's what I used to yeah. do as a kid. So come on. What are you doing? Come on. It, it just gets like disappointed. It. it doesn't feel it's the like same. It's like that TikTok that Hunter always loves. No! You didn't come when I said you should have come. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> the kids that fucking... Oh. Okay, so Bionicles technically yeah. aren't oh robots. Oh my god, Bionicles, dude. <laughs> Bionicles my dad's saying we're supposed to go in there. We're supposed to go in there. Okay, it's my turn. You play with it all the time. It's my turn. <laughs> That's my... Ow! That one had ice in it! <laughs> <laughs> So good. Uh, when he's going down, he's like, my boots are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one is definitely that one where it's like, you play with it all the time. It's my point. 
That one's the most relatable. Did you guys yeah. see that uh, the video I sent where people in the seventies, this like model was yeah, going on the streets and pinching people's yeah, butts? Like, and all the guys are like, "It's like, oh my, oh, equality of the sexes." Plus no. <laughs> like, have you ever been pinched in the ass by a woman? Regrettably not. <laughs> Good day. So no, I wouldn't mind another rendezvous. <laughs> but also that chick was so hot, which also yeah. I know, which doesn't yeah, make it fair. Like, that's not the same also, thing. Yeah. It's like, okay, a creepy old man doing it is not the same as a sexy young woman. To make it whatever. like what? equal, just have it. I'm not like, sure what point she was trying to make with that. That have, like it's creepy. Like apparently, you're out that I'm squeezing your ass right apparently, now. Like, see how I feel, but it's just like wasn't there apparently some... in the 60s and 70s, like men Men would like grope women in public all the time. Yeah, I was like, apparently. To see how no, women were a fact. Apparently, misogyny <laughs> was a thing in the apparently. 70s. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Kyle, Kyle, I, what do you I think of this? I think in the Netherlands, it might have been Netherlands, some, some lady was completely naked, but she had a box over her, her pussy and she walked around and had like a little curtain and she would let people, like strangers, stick oh, their hand yeah. in and finger her. What? That's and it was like they filmed it too. It was like, they, except just you could see her tits, but not her. her what badge. is this? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Where could I find oh, such, yeah. a, <laughs> such a video? Would you, if a girl came up to you and was like... Picking at them. <laughs> Your nails? Yeah. I do that all the time. Kyle, if, if a girl came up to you on the street... Thickened. You're bleeding. I know. It happens. If a girl came up to you and did Why? that on the street, it's like obviously it's part of a, like something related to art. Would you do it or no? Really? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Yeah. I think that's the, but that's the Netherlands. Not in a million years. Yeah. Um, yeah, not in a million years. Well, it definitely matters how attractive is the... How attractive is the girl? Oh, come on. Is her Percy already exposed? Yeah. Percy. Maybe. <laughs> Percy. I mean, maybe I might just like. Is her Percy? Is her little Percy? <laughs> is her already? Percy Jackson already exposed? Percy. Yeah, you need Jackson. some help over there. Yeah. Go tight on that one, and then loosen up the one that's right below the bar. How do you guys feel yeah. about? Loosen that just a smidge. There you go. So oh Steve, God, sorry. Steve, Kyle, and I talked about this earlier today. So you guys know about Ever Better, right? No. Yeah. So, uh -oh. how how do you guys feel about like people we know? Who... There's so much like. <laughs> there's damn, so much noise. noise from the tables, from the chairs. How, how it's crazy. You... The noise is just... I'll wait for a call. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> yeah. In case you guys hadn't noticed. Let me know if All I'm of our hogging. equipment is fucked because it was hey, thrown into a Let box. Let me know if I'm hogging the mic. You missed that sound from Xbox, buddy? Hmm? You missed that sound from Xbox, buddy? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't oh miss that God. at all. At all. Oh, come How on. do you... So... It's just so loud. Mine's loud? No, I think, I think it's oh. that one just badly. So... Can you turn it down? No. Is it that one? There's like a constant just hum, like a vibration. It's that So get, So this yeah. is this is the it's whole... Like, I know, I know it's but crazy. It's because it's not, it can't go tight. Like one of the the bolts is fucked. Should I do this? Yeah. I mean, just consider it. Yeah, that sounds good. Is that that is sounds good? Just have sounds fun. Better. Yeah, so I think that's good. People, like people, talk to them. That like Taylor. Ever better. Ever better. We're uh, talking about ever better. Uh, TJ and Taylor started their own business, you know, cafe, and they used a MLM company called Herbalife and provided them with all the products they need to start this company, and it's a pyramid scheme. And their reasoning for it was they cut corners, not cut corners, but they cut costs by using this MLM. And you know they were pretty successful until- Very successful. Past month, they had a 4.9 rating on Google, and they're doing pretty well, and all that stuff, but and it was to make it And to make it personal, Hunter, this is someone we've known for our, our whole, whole life, and my sister yeah. was also working with them, like just as a cashier kind of thing, until yeah. my sister went back to. Um, but the people that work Europe. for them, David Rayner, worked works there currently. Like so, people we know like work there. So anyway, uh, people on Instagram figured out that they have Herbalife products, and they go, "Hey, Herbalife has all these side effects um, in your colon, in your liver. People get diarrhea from Herbalife products. They're an MLM. They brought it up on t on Instagram and." And Taylor blocked anybody who would comment anything negative. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this caused a backlash. Their rating right uh, now is a 1.8. Went from a 4.9 to a 1.8. What did you do? This, this is a fucking... I'm not gonna what did you do? I'm, I'm going to tell anything, them. anything, man. So after it all breaks that no, they're using... No, no, no. This is I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell Don't them. Don't say this. After this is they... Say it. So Ryan, <laughs> Ryan takes his pitchfork and goes on Reddit. And makes I just talked about, about churches like how, a, a how, five page uh, post on RVA subreddit oh God, about how bad Hill City is and and ever better, 
<laughs> and after that, their review, like Ryan's post didn't pop off, but it fed into other posts. Like people were I taking stuff it. that Ryan said and would put it into theirs. And it was all like fucking misinformation. A lot it of was it. Not misinformation, it was not man. misinformation. It was, it I was, was just all, talking about it was how all personal I, stories. I was just it wasn't talking really about, facts or All I was talking about was how churches, man, they, well, they really own create. It. Why are you like, I'm owning like it. it's like a secret? I'm owning it. I just well, want, you didn't up until someone called you out. I didn't, no, no, I just didn't want to talk so about it. Weird you're weird about Ryan, shit like Ryan this. Ryan didn't start it. There I were, didn't there know. were posts yeah. there before Ryan. I know, but it's like you're acting like it's Because like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk weird. about it. I, all right, I'll talk about it. I'm owning it completely. All I said was I called out how certain churches Five create pages. an atmosphere and an environment where they kind of help each other out, and it's like a, a, a close-knit group. And they, there's a lot of favoritism, and they pick certain people, and they're like, you know, like, oh, this is your dream, like, we'll help you, and we'll fund that almost. And at Hill City specifically, certain people will get certain jobs, and they'll pay them good amount of money per year to do j those jobs, just because they're likable, just because they bring more members to the church. And so what I was calling out was Taylor is is one of those people where the church really helps her life, her personal gains in her life. Yeah. And that was all I was saying. And I, yeah. and I deleted it. Ryan I deleted it because it was not unusual. Why did you delete all. it? Because it, he's right. Because he, he kind of doxed yeah. them. You know, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. He kind of did. I would never do that. I, I have a question. Yeah, I what do you, what do you guys think preachers should make as money? How much money? What, what, what do you think it's ridiculous Bread that they make wine, more than six brother. figures? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, six figures yeah. is wine. ridiculous. I would say eighty grand or less. <laughs> Because, modest. They have a modest lifestyle. Because one of the people my dad, my dad takes care of the uh, irrigation system. He's the Richmond Tabernacle, or it's like the giant mega church. Okay. It's like the they're on TV. The no, it's like is. something tabernacle. I don't know. Hmm. But the preacher was under like a lot of scrutiny because he talked about Trump and COVID and all this shit. And dude, he makes like two hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, fuck. Has him. all these cool. sports cars and shit. Yeah. Dude, it's like, yeah, what do you guys think of that? Yeah, it's awful. What a piece of shit. It's incorrect. I, I went to Hill City and John Hirschberger, awesome. who's the lead pastor at, I mean, so WEAG, nice, at WEAG, John Hirschberger, he lives in a nice ass house, like a huge if house. If there's anything a nice that I... nice ass house? It's oh, just like a giant That's another thing. <laughs> that's another thing. This guy, he doesn't pay for his house. He lives there for free. Yeah. Yes. So it's also if there's anything free. that I thought that our church, the fellowship we all grew up in, had perfectly right, it was the fact that there was no preacher. Everyone that was a mm -hmm. an yeah. elder, they all were like engineers. They had their own fucking jobs. They had their own shit. They had yeah, their own I things going. There well, was dude, no my, like one guy that's like, oh, we're gonna pay off their him. mortgage on their house what? just now. Isn't that crazy? That's fantastic. Not really. Wow. You, you think that like shit's already? Years, I mean. Yeah, so you think that shit like was long done, but it's like they. Well, they just... added a lot of modifications, a lot of stuff to it. Yeah, but even so, it's like that's so crazy. Like you just assume yeah. like that shit's like your. I mean, you guys know about your parents' mortgage? Yeah, they're still paying it. Yeah, I mean that's my uh, my dad, paid my dad like just retired years. in like seven years. Yeah, no, that didn't surprise me. He just like yeah, assume so something your dad would take like really he just, seriously. Like, busted his ass and yeah. Yeah. paid it off. And... Yeah, but to finish your story on it, definitely it's wrong. It's, I think it's completely wrong. Why do you, do you think they I demand that, that, or do you think the church is like no, that's we want them to like have that, that or what, they what just have no self control? It, it, it's I, like I literally couldn't hear you. You're like, hey, Miss Roger. Oh, it, it, it goes. It turns into it. It goes worse so, and worse and worse. Like, what, oh, make a little bit. Oh, I need more money. I, I, can what, get, I can take more money. What I what I really what I really don't like is you and you have Mahal. band members at Hill City who make thirty k, forty k a year from just being a band member, and then on the weekends they're going out there partying, they're doing drugs. Like I know people. I've worked with people who do that, and I just don't think it's right that they pay anybody willy nilly to just be part of the team, and they don't like. Like, this just and creates a dilemma. I just don't where that it's a dilemma. It, it, they literally, Hill City spends 30% like generosity, like, like, like charity. The rest goes to maintaining the church. They just want, they want, Tax this, isn't, this isn't a, a malicious thing. It's their, they, they genuinely believe like they want to bring more people to the Lord. Yeah. So they want I, I don't like to have saying, more so, I mean, people, upsetting more me. members. Yeah, I never liked it. I, it just, they're like that churches like, like that are really more of like community I just like, they're just popularity contests yeah I, I was just wow. upset I, I'm really upset about the whole thing have you been, have you ever been to it's Hill the City? worst because it's an MLM and it's Hill, it's a mega church as well it's just it grinds my gears because the WEAG just is the, the same word. thing I know it's just like yes yeah. I went there yeah I played, it, it was I more of there. like this is why it pisses me off type yeah. of post it was like a rant in, indoor they had indoor soccer oh you're talking about U-turn it was U-turn at first then it was the rock 
Oh, yeah. did you hear about The Rock? Maybe I'm not. Like the huge outreach yeah. church? That's what I just said. I, I played there, so I know about it, but I didn't Isn't hear about it. Isn't that off Midlothian, though? Yeah, it's all yeah, the way down Midlothian. Way down. Midlothian. My dad used to take me there for outreach stuff, like with... Uh, I remember their I pastor that that just time. got fucked up yeah. for ha- like doing drugs, like heroin or something, That's what if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> The whole church was like made up of like... Extra. That was their whole thing, yeah. The rock, yeah. their whole like, stick was that everyone was like an ex. Like they had mm-hmm. found salvation. They had overcame their drug problems. The preacher was my, one of them. He had like sleeves. He had tattoos. He had like yeah. gauges and stuff. My dad took me there, and he would teach Greek and Hebrew to uh, ex convicts. <laughs> and he made he Basically made me and my siblings. Crowd. He made he <laughs> made me and my siblings. Uh, <laughs> He made, Basically, not anyone. He at made all. my siblings take the class with him, oh. so we were in the class with these guys who were like, you know, not the, not the bat. Yeah. Guys enjoy in my room on the floor. Um, like guys that like ride motorcycles, like. Oh yeah, they rode motorcycles, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, Thomas. <laughs> Like, what's that thing they? Hey, God, what's that thing they? What's that thing that they say when they go around in a circle and they're like, hey, you know, you know, oh, you just calm, Mikey. I have no idea. Oh, Nava, Nakhi, Nava, 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 yeah, that's um, actually the most fun song to listen to. Is Hill City the one that's at the National? No. No, so the National is Chapel. Chapel is at the National, and then they're also at the Scott's one that's edition. off of, uh, what is it called? It's in Scott's Edition now. There's two, <laughs> right? Oh, so that, that that one's in Scott's Edition now. It used to be right off of <laughs> yeah. Lombardi or Meadow. I, I just, Meadow. I don't... I don't necessarily enjoy it when a church is like this is like we got it right. We have the correct. No, I like I liked going to chapel. It was alright for a little no, bit. No, I think I think chapel's fine. Yeah. I just I'm just talking about like churches in general. Hill, like, Hill, Hill City, City is by U Turn. Do you know where that is? It's kind of you know where the Ford dealership is by the cookout on Broad Street? Mm-hmm. Like behind there. Okay. Yeah, behind that Ford dealership. <laughs> it's like oh, yeah, almost yeah, like yeah, industrial yeah, yeah, looking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that's mm. but I just didn't like when my, my when my dad was telling me that I didn't realize that pastors made that fucking much money. Yeah, dude, they're they fucking scum lords. Like in yeah. free house, and you're not even talking about the national ones here. You're talking about local. Yeah. Well, I mean, the national I boys, think they're, they're te- fucked. I think they're televised, but like in the Richmond, like local, like they're they're a big church, but mm. like no, they're huge. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> sure that all of the churches in Chester, the mm-hmm. big ones like Bonaire, mm-hmm. like some of those other ones, the There's guys, a, same same situation. But, but like Kyle was saying, like, do they really? Have that much mm-hmm. revenue from their fucking yes yes. yes. There's yes. A, is, is they so, take that shit seriously. Ten percent. So, is it solely from the people that go to the church, or do you think there's outside people that are like, hey, no. there's a million so with, dollars? With Hill City, Hill City was a startup oh, church. Like, another another bigger uh, conglomerate church fingers, funded Hill City to get started. Uh, so they paid all the costs for the first like five years, and Hill City now has like a thousand members. Huh. So they're paying for itself. So it's like a business where they help fund smaller churches plant seeds, mm. and then those have to I pay like to back their dudes mm. to the original church. And Hill City's like also, that. Also, church. Re- I don't like. Wow. Um, what don't there's like a, there's a like church called New Life. That, so my ex girlfriend Ashton was a part of a church called New Life. Church revenue is in she, chapel. She, she would. She's at chapel now, but she was at a church called New Life back in the day. She would go to this church and she would tell me. She would speak to some of the staff there, and they were starting a like, new location in Midlothian mm-hmm. solely so because of the revenue in that area is upper middle class. Yeah. Yeah. Like so they were making a church just for that area so they could make more revenue to donate to whatever. So that's, it's it's like there's a good cause. The church business is... It's a business mindset. Like a it's thing. a business mindset. Seems like it's a lot of money. Yeah. Everything in America is a business. It's all Absolutely. about like least favorite thing about like the whole church and all that, about how they're like, you know... They have to be cool and be hip to attract all these people yes. to make them Christians. Is that, that's all of our like main hatred, right? Yes. Towards the church, or am I wrong? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. It's sure. It's, Why did you look at me like that? Like what the fuck? You're I like know. I doubt you. I said yes. It's You're like the they try to they try to change you, and it's not for the Lord. It's not in like a good way. They want to change. They they try to change you because <laughs> they want you to be. <laughs> they want yes. to fuck you up. Yeah. I don't think it's so yes. conscious though. I think it's more. It's not conscious. Subliminal. It's not conscious at all. It's yeah. very subliminal. So church revenue is not taxed. That's why they have so much money. Mm. Like. Like nothing they do is technically it's just yeah. given to them by by a congregation. But but I guess my original question you kind of answered it like is it mostly from like y'all's uh, anyone's family just yeah. goes to church and they're the one donating? Well, it's or no government money. Yeah. 
from all over. Yeah. All right. It could there could be like different community groups like outreach groups that have money and they have yeah. fundraising events for the so, community or whatever but so for example my dad just made me a budget and he added in it which was kind of funny he added a tithe in it and he was like you need to tithe like this amount of yep. money per month so god can bless you my dad genuinely believes that so my dad tithes hundreds or thousands of dollars to churches and to causes that he thinks are right so all these parents like they no matter what it is if they think that the lord is telling them to donate they're gonna donate 